Well, it's really cold today and it has been snowing <laughs> and uh, it's really interesting in June. Yeah, I had to get a roof rack to my sprinter van with uh, leather for the back door. So now I just need to take it out of the car. And I cannot mount it before I paint the entire car. <laughs> and I see my <laughs> money is now depleting really soon. Uh, it's costing a lot of money, the van build. And the only reason to that is that I choose some electric e equipment like the diesel heater from Autotherm and the water boiler which cost a lot of money. And the Victron stuff costs also a lot of money, so most of the money is going to this equipment. But I hope it's worth on the long run. <laughs> so let's see how it will go if I can complete the van build at all. Here you got to see the aluminium roof rack. It's 3 meter 50 long. I just need to figure out later how to put it through the roof. As I would like to insulate it, I'm not sure if I can do it. Maybe I just do it and uh, fix it with tape after when I remove the plugs in the roof. This is also a good opportunity maybe. I think I will just do it. Otherwise I have to wait with the entire build. Finally, we can go on with the van build and we will mount the roof rack. Everything is prepared. As you seen earlier in this video, I was purchasing, uh, I was getting this one and this is a used one. It should fit really good. I have to do some adjustments, but first I have to do the holes. So the plan is to use those brackets here and I have to drill a second hole and use a fabric hole. So stay tuned to follow up and how to mount the roof rack. Now I am just uh, preparing the first and the last bracket and then I will see where the other two will be as I will have totally eight brackets for the roof rack. It's not much left and I have to borrow myself a hand which I call zip ties. It's really good. So just see and have a look. Uh, it's maybe not working on this side just for safety. Okay.
it's a beautiful day again and now we can continue with a solar panel on the roof rack as I have to move once more again the stuff it's not a perfect fit so I wasn't sure where to place the roof rack if it should completely behind or in front but now I don't have any mounting for the space for the solar rack so I have to move it one more time So this is the finished result of the two panels, each of, one, each of them are 200 watts, so I have totally 400 and I connect it parallel and not in series, so it will be interesting to see how it will perform, otherwise I can redo it on the connection here, as you see, I also have enough cable, so if I like to do some changes, it's not a big deal. I hope you liked this episode and stay tuned. I see you in the next one.